hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here and i really do appreciate your time i wanted to come on here and talk about beyonce releasing this new hair care line that she appears to be launching february 27th obviously i grew up in my mother's hair salon I'm sorry, is Beyonce Giselle Nose Carter giving us a hairline? She's launching a hair care brand. Any of my other curly haired ladies out there, I'm sure you took notes too. Welcome along my hair journey. And listen, I hope from like a support you from a distance type of way that this is an endeavor that will be successful unfortunately a lot of the other types of lines that she has put out whether it was a clothing line like ivy park or even house of darion that she put out when i was a teenager it doesn't seem like when she puts something out that it sticks when she goes on tour and she has merch that she's selling associated with the tour that seems to do well i have actually seen in real life people walking around with renaissance shirts on graphic t-shirts and like you know inspired things that you could tell it's inspired by her crystal disco horse you know what i'm saying so i've seen her influences in fashion obviously and i remember back in the early 2000s that side ponytail that she did i saw a lot of girls trying to copy this look right so she clearly does have impact in fashion but it just seems like whenever she puts out a particular line people don't tend to be in a hurry to snatch it up and i think that's for two major reasons and i think the first reason is beyonce is not very personable right so we understand that in this day and age celebrities for whatever reason even against <laughs> sometimes what we would prefer to know about them and i'll say this even if it's curated celebrities seem to be much more down to earth they're posting pictures on social media they're sh sharing things about their families um things leak all the time about their personal lives on social media without their consent so celebrities are much more approachable and attainable now in a sense than they were predating the millennium and things like that and i think there is definitely a edge to that that can be useful and lucrative when it comes to selling a product that's supposed to be a brand that's backed by you right i think one of the most clear examples of this is rihanna and all of her different fenty branded products that's why the makeup and all of that sort of stuff took off however beyonce really does not have that same effect on social media and i think it's definitely a choice and a way that she wants to have that gap between her and her fans and every now and then it seems like she does share personal moments with us although they're usually associated with a cost <laughs> but i think that that's what she chooses to do and how she chooses to be as a celebrity but i think the problem is it doesn't help her sell her products right as much as people say they love beyonce they don't love her enough to sell out ivy park and for it to become this huge brand and I think the other issue with Beyonce's brands is it tends to be overpriced. Beyonce's brands seem to be you're paying for the fact that it is me. It is I am Beyonce. So pay. F you're going to be expected to pay a high price for me. And we just don't live in that society anymore where people are willing to really break the bank just because so-and-so said something or so-and-so was wearing something or so-and-so is uh, representing a certain brand. People are always looking for cost-effective ways to get what they need and have the things that they like. And I just get the feeling that this is going to be similar to Tracy Ellers Ross's brand and similar to Taraji P. Henson's brand. And I think Gabrielle Union had a brand. Like, all of these ladies who have stylists and glam teams and all these people who are there who it's their literal job to make sure their hair is healthy but also looks good in a certain style i'm just not buying this idea that you guys are all natural hair care enthusiasts
And I, I just don't care enough to even pick up something at a store to try it, right? I have been natural for over 12 years. At this point, I think I've been natural for close to 20 years. And I know what works for my hair. I know what formulations work for my hair. I know what key ingredients I need to grow my hair to maintain my length, to keep my scalp healthy, um, to keep it from plating, to keep the buildup off. Like I'm very, very familiar with my hair. So I have my brands that I trust. I have my products that I trust already. I'm not... I'm not the one that's going to run out and buy a hair care brand just because it's Beyonce's. I'm clearly not the target audience for Sacred, but I, I, I do believe that for the younger girls who are not as familiar with their hair care needs, I don't think this will appeal to them either because like I said, if it's overpriced and it's being presented by someone who we don't necessarily know or have like this guarantee like oh yes Beyonce knows about hair like even though we know like we all know whether you're a beehive member for life or you're like more of a casual fan like myself everyone knows that Miss Tina Knowles ran a hair salon for years and kept the money in the house while Matthew Knowles and the girls were pursuing Destiny's Child and we all know this however I just don't <laughs> I'm not like maybe if it was Tina Knowles's brand right and she was specifically putting it out and as like this is my hair care line maybe i'll be like oh okay that's interesting but i i'm not i don't really care that <laughs> beyonce has long hair uh, oh natural Mama, that's really <laughs> i mean very annoying <laughs> Would say. <laughs> and her mom ran a hair salon and she's Beyonce and that's why I should just buy this or try no like that's why I honestly while like I said earlier from a certain standpoint I hope that she you know this brand can do well I hope it does do well I know yet again I will personally not be one of the people rushing to try the product or one of the people who even have because i don't need a hair care line from beyonce I, I, in general i have no interest in celebrity backed lines i'm not that type of consumer um a, f a famous person being attached to a drink a clothing line a skincare line a hair care line does not inspire me to now think it's high quality or good or worth my money no so <laughs> that's how i feel about this particular topic please make sure you are subscribed to my channel and give me a thumbs up before you go and then comment down below about what your reaction is to this brand do you think you're going to try it are you excited about it do you even care <laughs> let me know how you feel but yes comment below and take care bye